Among other things, you'll find that you're not the first person who was ever confused and frightened and even sickened by human behavior. You're by no means alone on that score. You'll be excited and stimulated to know. Many, many men have been just as troubled morally and spiritually as you are right now. Happily, some of them kept records of their troubles. You'll learn from them if you want to. Just as someday if you have something to offer, someone will learn something from you. It's a beautiful reciprocal arrangement. And it is an education. It's history. It's poetry. Oh, damn. People don't write anymore like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're in this age of sound bites and we're in a different age. That was one age. That was the age of the great literaries. Uh, J.D. Sa Salinger from Catcher in the Rye. So, Marcus Conti reporting. What's the lesson in Salinger's commentary? It's that, it's that the world, when the world is falling apart, how are you going to handle it? How are you going to stand up for yourself? How are you going to stay above the fray and not not kill yourself, not self-disintegrate? Right. How will you not overdose, eat yourself to death, jump out of a window, work yourself to death, become a slave? I can't take it. Absorb into the television set. Oh, fucking TV. I love it. Let people, let others think for you. Desensitize. I'm not going to look at that. It's too troubling. It's a rabbit hole. Everything's a rabbit hole. See, it's easy to look at things at the surface. But when you go one, even, even as little as one step below, you see all this muck. And you see all this human suffering and all this human manipulation. Some will say, oh, well, that's not really human manipulation and suffering. That's just the way it is, right? Maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> what do I know? So, so I mean, and it, and it crosses over into so many aspects of life, you know. So many, so many people, what we do for, what we do in our daily activity is, is all different. Everybody watching this. If you're watching this, you're... You're probably like me and you're prone to, you know, rabbit hole, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Because not always, it's not always a rabbit hole. It's, always, it's only a rabbit hole if you, if you can't find your way out of the hole. Now, it's okay to dip your head into a hole and see what's in there. But it's when, it's when you stay there, right? You stay, you stay down there, right? And you refuse to come up, or you, you know, you you walk out into the high grass, right? The high grass of 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 uh, inquiry, and you lose your way out of the trail. You lose your tracks. You forget to mark the trail how to get out. That's the that's the trap of drug addiction. I think, is that drugs once would be like many people have have experimented with LSD once, and they'd say, say, oh, it was a great experience. I, I love it. Uh, but it's when you abuse it. It's when you go back and say, oh, it was so good. Let me try that again. <laughs> uh, you lose your way. That's how you lose your way. Uh, if, you could just do, if you could just do smoke crack once, it would be an interesting experience. If you could trip on acid once, it would be an interesting experience. But the human experience, the human nature doesn't generally allow for that. Even Timothy Leary, the, the advocate of LSD, right? That advocate guy. He was taking five five hits of acid just to get to a TV commercial, just to get to a to an interview. Oh, I gotta be I gotta be full of my subject. Let me eat five slabs of acid. Right? And then and then and then you're in the high grass. You're down the rabbit hole. You lost your your point. So what the hell am I trying to say, man? So, I mean, the example. I'll give you examples historically right now where we are. Because that's why people tune into channels like this, is to find out politics, right? But beyond, I mean, 
Above politics, there's history. As Sal Inger says, there's poetry. And it's a beautiful day in New York. And there's some, there's a red cardinal. I don't know if I could film it. See the red cardinal? Can you see him? Ah, uh, he flew away. Wow, beautiful red cardinal uh, spotting. There he is. There he is. Uh, he's a little too fast for me. My eye could see it, but the camera doesn't fly fast enough. <laughs> so 75 degrees in New York. Beautiful day. It's almost too hot out. <laughs> you wait all year round, and then and then and then you complain it's too fucking hot. Oh, fucking hot. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> so I wanted to say that so history and poetry, as as Salinger said, is uh, is is uh, forever, right? That poetry, the the only thing that we remember, the only thing that history really writes or remembers, is the wars and the art. I, I like to stand on the side of the art. Uh, but we remember those wars. We always talk about them, right? The wars, not so much the paintings, but the creative art, the, the writing, the literature. Uh, uh, so, I mean, even in, I think that in this age of, uh, in this age of multimedia, I think this is a, this, what we're doing right here, this form of documentation of history, human experiences, is, is very important. Right? We're living in the age of censorship, censorship too, where people don't want you to do that. Where the power, the power elite find that threatening, that an average person can document history better than we can. We'll lose, you know, and it, it, it's, it's just, it bears testament to how valuable the narrative, the narrative is, right? Who controls the narrative, right? You know, for me, I started as a I, I started as an accidental whistleblower, and as I got to the end of that, as I got to the end of that um, quest, exposing this agency for illegality, illegality in the in the city mun municipality, I said to myself, I'm going to switch this view to the bigger picture, right? and 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 learn. Learn and help people learn about a very corrupt system that we're living in. The courts, the municipalities, the, quote, law enforcement. You start to realize as you dig into the, as you peek in a little bit, you realize it's all a giant scam and a ripoff. Right? No matter where you go, right? Right? The object is to not fall to pieces while you're doing it. Right? So many people doing what I do, right? Looking into the camera and, and declaring themselves a truth teller. Fall apart. Right? They, they get so worked up and so, so indignant that no one will listen to what exactly every word of what they're saying as absolute truth. Right? And, they, and they, they start to break apart. You see them all the time. Right? Some of the people that I admire that 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 admired me right or that I had interactions with ultimately fell apart I'm still here for whatever reason because I don't know because I'm mostly insane right I don't give a shit about it. you gotta have thick skin to do this right you gotta you gotta not really give a shit what people because whenever you declare a truth there's 10 people that'll say no you're wrong and that's fine with me I don't care you know, and, and if you do it with a little bit of a fuck you and your attitude, it, it, it's, it's, I guess, just more entertaining and more powerful, right? That's what I find, right? So, don't quit, right? You look, but you don't stare. That's the key. You look, but don't stare at the, at the indignities, at, at the, the corruption and the chaos in, in, in uh, human behavior, human interaction. Uh, you can look at it, but when you stare, and 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 it, it starts to turn into indignant indignance, 
right? Where 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 it's making you viscerally sick. And I've gone through periods like that where where that's all I think about, and then and then oh, I got sick. Right? I'm starting to it's starting to consume me. The work is consuming me, right? And you snap out of it. <laughs> Go fly your kite. Go on a treasure hunt. I did a treasure hunt. If you guys are interested, I, I cracked the uh, the mystery of a 35-year uh, uh, the secret. If you watch, if you remember a video or two ago, I, I did this. Uh, a guy, I met this guy on the path, <laughs> down on the path over there, right? talking about vegan food, and he told me about the secret. He said, "Dude, he said, dude, you gotta have you found it." I said, "Nah, man, I haven't found it. What do I, what do I, what do I need to find?" And he told me about the secret, was which is a uh, a treasure buried somewhere in twelve locations around the country. One of which is in New York. And I, so I, so a week ago, I found I found it. <laughs> so go on Marcus Conti two. I have my other channel, a little backup channel, and uh, subscribe there and watch the watch the video, and you'll see what I did. Uh, just a fun video. I mean, I I, I, fe I figured it out because I'm I'm from New York. I said, what the hell? I'm gonna figure this shit out. And uh, you know, in the same way, there's people, there's people on the Facebook page that, that are, are, you know, aficionados of this stuff. They, they, they hate it. Like, fuck you! You, you can't find that shit in a week. We've been looking fucking ten years. I fucking got these fucking. This guy's, this guy's full of shit. Don't trust him. <laughs> right? Even when I gave him the evidence, I gave, I gave, you know, bullet, bulletproof evidence that I found it. I didn't actually find it because it's in a place where you can't dig. But I found the location. Right? So anyway. So today in history, right? What do we? What, what should we not get worked up about? Right? Theresa May and the conservative neoliberals resign. May is done in June. <laughs> right? She failed. A great leader fails. A great, the great British prime minister goes down in smoke because she can't get her people a deal. But we continue. We we continue to go on. We we move. Right? We learn from that. Right? It's 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 history turning. History. It's the world is turning. Will you be consumed by it? Will you go down in flames with Theresa May, or will you, will you um, stay above the fray? Right. Trump wins RussiaGate. Right. He did. Trump has won RussiaGate. Right. Uh, you know he he's he ordered the investigations, the in, the declassification into the bad guys, the countries. He's now naming countries that were were likely involved in the in the coup attempt calling it a coup the american president is calling what the opposing party did to him a coup that's i mean that is just brilliantly historical now again you know I, my my position on trump is that trump was the great wrecking ball and necessary for the times he just i just find his 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 economic theory and his economic vision and his his humanitarian view on everything to be just backwards but that's my opinion right? and I can continue to argue with people about it without consuming myself or offending you too greatly <laughs> but what else is happening Japan has never been a better friend <laughs> you heard about this so the president of the United States is off in Japan right and um, <laughs> the Japanese, they, they catered to his every whim, right? They, they gave him, uh, <laughs> go, they played, he's playing golf, sumo wrestling. Right? <laughs> he set up a, a fucking sumo wrestling event. And Trump presented them with a giant trophy, an American-made trophy. <laughs> it's just, what else? The cheeseburgers. They fed him cheeseburgers for lunch. Sumo wrestling. And and uh, and golf. He played 16 holes of golf. He ate cheeseburgers and then went to a sumo wrestling event. And he's happy, right? The fucking Japanese. They know how to, you know. I love the Japanese people, man. They're fucking they're brilliant people. Their comedy is hysterical. Their wit, their dark humor, ooh, uh, sadistic even in many respects. Love the Japanese, man. Love the Japanese. So Trump's over there schmoozing. 50 years ago, 60 years ago in history, we decimated the Japanese people, right? For no real reason. Or maybe there was a reason, who knows? 
McNamara said there was no reason. That it was confusion, the fog of war, right? It just we got nervous and blew them up. All right? But now, President of the United States is over there eating cheeseburgers, watching sumo wrestling, playing golf. So we learn from history, right? Or it just takes a, you know, <laughs> a functioning illiterate like Trump to <laughs> to go over there and he probably doesn't even know the history. Uh, Hiroshima, what was that? Fucking uh, Nagasaki, yeah, that was the, uh, wasn't that a sumo wrestling? <laughs> Who knows if Trump even knows what the hell's going on, man. Nobody fucking knows that. So um, what else have we seen that, that'll make you, your human blood boil? Venezuela targeted for oil scapegoated as a socialist dictatorship. Uh, poor Venezuelan people, right? We're seeing that in our time. We're seeing the, the elected officials and the appointed people of those elected officials, namely Trump's swamp, attack Venezuela and all the evidence, all the evidence on the table suggests that there's nothing there, that it's just a, it's just a, it's just a bullshit story to, to control the oil and and, and, and get McDonald's and Citibank and 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 you know and and suck that oil out of the ground get it get all our companies on every corner in Venezuela get them hooked on the oligarchy install the oligarchy man right dude you can't be selling no oil to, to Cuba for cheap selling your oil on the cheap damn you guys got a humanitarian crisis we're gonna squeeze you man we're gonna two years of sanctions we'll starve out your people Oh, yeah, you got that food program, right? We heard you got that food program. You're giving away food to, to, to hungry people for free. We're going to stop that shit for you, man. We're going to starve those people until they revolt. Because we're the American Empire, and fuck you. Uh, so we saw that, man. How do you deal with that when you know the truth? And you got every, every idiot in, in, in mainstream media and half, half the idiots online saying that, that Trump is... Uh, Trump is a genius and a and 4D chess player. Okay. One of the biggest tragedies, Julian Assange. Oh, right. How do we deal with that? How do we deal with the human tragedy of, of you know, publisher, the the international hero Julian Assange, right, sitting behind bars, facing 180 years in a U.S. kangaroo court. Uh, U.S. kangaroo court charging him with espionage facing 180 years in prison uh, for publishing what for publishing 100% truth never never wrong all he did was reveal truth he real he revealed truth about power and for that we're going to fabricate well no no it's not about that well now it is about that it's exactly about that first time in history Right? The first time in history we're seeing a challenge like this to the to, to the free to free press. Right? That that conspiring to say something like curious eyes never run dry, in my opinion, Julian Assange. Curious eyes never run dry. For that, he's charged with conspiracy. It's a thought crime. That's what George Orwell said. The thought of Suggesting to someone that keep digging, keep digging for the truth is, is a high crime and misdemeanor worthy of at least one count sitting in a prison cell for 10 years. Right? And now if you know that truth, rather than the truth that they per per perpetrate on television, that Assange is some shady spy, some British spy, right? He's a hack. He's a thief. Right? Deserves to be deserves to be ex executed. Right? U.S. government, U.S. officials call for his execution. Oh, he should be executed. Remember when they said that, like like four or five years ago? Find the clips on YouTube. All all the major politicians said it. They wanted to kill him. And now they're 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 extraditing. They're going to try to extradite him here. And you think that there could possibly be a fair trial? If the British release him, what a tragedy. Then there is no justice. Then there is no, then the international, I mean, there's no, no justice in Britain either. That, that 
any fool can see that the the um, the prosecution of of Julian Assange is political. It's not a crime. There's no crimes. It's political theater at the expense of one man. Right? Anybody that thinks differently always going to be sprung at the last minute. You know what the horror? Have you? If you've never sat in a prison cell or a jail cell, and when that door locks and you have no control of your life, no control of the food you eat, what time you take a shower, what time you, nothing, just 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 three walls and another wall full of bars, and some guy fucking telling you what time you know. It's just it's a it's it's to say that oh no no we're gonna get him we're gonna get him out of this is get him out now. Get him out now. Free him now. Right now. Drop the charges. What else that makes your blood boil? We saw that we see we see the greatest example, one of the greatest examples in France, the yellow vests. Right? Make your human blood boil when you see the French people starting a revolution in their own country. Right? Revolting against what? Revolting against oligarchy. Revolting against against the powers that are trying to that are trying to trying to hold them down, trying to keep their life very minimal, while while the the power elite live so high on the hog, it's it's un- incomprehensible. They're so wealthy and so, they have all the power, and and a million people strong, a million yellow vests walk the streets of France for 28 weeks in a row. 28 weeks right? and, and zero coverage the mainstream media in America and, and Britain and, and across the country oh the numbers are getting smaller they're losing power <laughs> oh yeah it was, it was nice while it lasted but it's losing it's losing its strength right? oh no no they, were, they, they gave up right? Right? to give up to, for what to go back to slavery, to go back to working a full-time job and not having enough to eat by the tw- 20 days into the month, getting paid once a month. So, uh, on the 20th of every month, you got no money left, and you work a full-time job, and that's that's <laughs> that's your idea of a successful capitalist society. <laughs> huh? And then you look deeper, and you you find out why it's like that because of. <laughs> Because of the power structure, the power structure, right? the banks, the, the oil companies, the pharmaceutical companies, everybody's taking a piece of the, the politicians. Everybody's making out, making out like bandits at your expense, right? And France, the yellow vest people are exposing that. Not just there, but here too. Right? They revolt and get ignored. In Venezuela. The revolt is orchestrated, and the power struggle, the power, the power elite put all the attention on it. Right? Funny how that happens, right? So Marcus Conti reporting today, staying above the fray. I guess is the title, the theme of this. Had to not, had to not, um, had to not jump off the ledge, right? How not to? climb to the top of the bridge and say I had enough I'm done <laughs> you guys could argue this shit all you want man I'm done how do you stay how do you stay away from that uh, me I would never kill myself I couldn't I, I'm too uh, I'm too proud and too 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 curious to see what's going to happen next to ever want to take my own life even in the worst in the worst on a, you know I mean, it's just I know there's some people that are prone to those kind of thoughts, but not this not this reporter. <laughs> I'm too curious, man. Stay curious. Stay connected to nature. Try to be kind when you can. But don't let people get away with anything. Don't let people get away with Don't let people get away with their ignorance. Challenge their ignorance. Call them out. Start a YouTube channel. <laughs> Maybe you'll help somebody. Maybe you'll help yourself. Start out by trying to help yourself. 
Because if you can't help yourself, if you can't save yourself, then you're not going to save anybody else. You have no use. Get out into nature, exercise, diet. Uh, take care of yourself. Because if you can't do that, you're not, you have no use to anybody else. Marcus Conti reporting.